Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell uh, workstation. This is a Dell Precision 7520. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add, remove and uh, what are the capacity of the storage that you can have in here. Just remember if you remove the main storage in here you do have to install your Windows uh, freshly installed from the USB drive. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or 11, let's call it 11 because 10 is really not useful anymore so windows 11 usb boot drive even for the laptop that they don't have a tpm or minimum requirement and stuff like that check that link in the video description in case you want to create your own and you don't know how to it's 100 uh, percent legal and it's not even pirated and you can do that and once you replace your main storage then you just have to put in the usb drive turn it on and boot it up from the usb and it's going to take you on a step by step how to install it I made a video how to properly install Windows 11 on your laptop. Check that link in case you want to install yours and you don't know. In this video, I'm just going to cover up how to uh, replace and add and what are the capacities. All right. With all that said, let's get into it. First thing first, back up your files if you want to and power it down. Flip it upside down. We're going to go over tools. I would recommend you guys grab an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best tools out there. I purchased myself this basic tool set, Phillips number one. And with this, all you need to do is to remove the service cover and the top cover in here, two covers. Move this latch halfway through and slide the bottom cover to yourself and lift it up. Here right away you can see there's a space for 2.5 inch mechanical drive or solid state drive. Now we're going to remove the back cover. By the way, one screw right in here on the corner, and one screw right on here, right by the Dell logo, right there. Now, we're gonna push this one towards the back a little bit, and it's gonna move half a centimeter, and we're gonna lift it up, all right? We're gonna remove the battery by pulling this jack all the way towards the right, and lift up the battery. Then we have access for this latch that is to pull this uh, caddy backward. If you want to add an, if you don't want to touch your SSD that you have your Windows in here, then you can add an extra storage. You can grab any uh, hard drive up to two terabyte mechanical drive, or you can grab any SSD up to let's say eight terabyte. You can get even an eight terabyte, two point five inch SSD from the I think eighty seventy uh, Samsung Evo eight seventy eight terabyte that they make. You can put it in here, or you can grab a mechanical up to two terabyte. All right, to remove this one is to remove four screws that touches the caddy. One, two, three, four. So remove these four screws. Right, once you remove the four screws, you can grab this lever right here and pull it back. And there you have the caddy. You can see the contacts in here. The contacts right in here, they have a SATA connection and they have a, uh, what's called, uh, data connection right there. This connection, it is meant for an NVMe 2.5 inch, so you can put an NVMe 2.5 inch in here, or you can put a regular SATA. Regular SATA have a little notch in the middle, cut in the middle, and there's no more pins in here, so you can just put it in here. You have to find the orientation, it has to be just like this. It goes in just like that, okay? To pull it, you have to play with a caddy. So, to put this one in there, first you want to align it, make sure the connection is like this. You want to bring it inside the caddy and sits flush. And they do provide you nicely with a, a screws right in here. There are three screws in here that they give you. There should be four of them, but they give you only three. I don't know why, but yeah. So, you can only put three screws. That's fine. You want to put the three screws on the caddy that holds the hard drive in place. But the, so if you want to get a faster SSD NVMe 2.5 inch, you can buy it and they will have extra pins in here and it will fit perfectly in there. So you want to put the screws in here. I have three screws. Um, where did I put the screws for the, oh, I grab it from the, that's the same screw that from the top one. So you can just go like this. And there we have, now we put four of them in here to hold it in place. Bring it in an offset position, drop it down, and then slide it right through the connector and bring this lever down. 
Now I'm left with only two and one extra in here. You can do that too. You can just put one at the back in there. You don't really need to put the one in the corner in here. So put the two in the back so it prevents them from sliding back. Even with one is more than enough. You don't need to go crazy putting all this food. But yeah, if you're missing one, it's okay. Nothing's going to happen. So that's how you can remove or add the 2.5 inch uh, SSDs up to 8 terabyte. Or you can get an NVMe version. Uh, they're really expensive. All right, this is demonstration. I'm just going to remove it. By adding this extra storage, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything's going to be left the way you had it. You just power it on and you go to the windows. If is the partition is activated, you're going to see it in my computer as a secondary storage. If you don't see it in there, then you have to right click on the windows icon on the desktop and right click on it and click on in disk management. And in the, inside the disk management, you're going to see the new disk in there labeled all color black. Right click on it and click uh, create partition. And then just click next, next on everything. And that's it. Then you it, it will format and it will show up in your computer. All right, let's put this one back in. All right. And put the screws in. Again, if you like my videos, if you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. And the extra screws, you can just put them right in here. There we go. All right. To remove the NVMe, you want to remove one screw on the heat sink right there. And then what you want to do, you want to grab this heatsink, bring it up, put it to one side, remove one screw on the back, and the NVMe will come out in 45 degree angle. Now all you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree angle, you want to pull it backward on that, don't yank it upward. All right, this is a one terabyte, you can put an up to four terabyte single-sided NVMe, don't, not double-sided, double-sided means you shouldn't have any chips on the other side, all the chips have to be on one side. You can put a four terabyte NVMe in here with no problem. Once you put it, then you have to freshly install Windows. For a demo, I have a 256 gig in here from Samsung. I'm going to put it down. Make sure the notch on the NVMe matches the notch on the, uh, on the cut right there. Bring it down. Put one screw. Once you finish with that, just grab the heatsink, put it on top, and put the tiny screw right over. All right, and once you finish, grab the battery, push down the front end down, and push it towards the motherboard, and it will click in. Grab this bottom cover with an offset position, bring it towards yourself. Make sure the screw holes are matching, and put the screws on each corner. I'll make a video installing Windows on this SSD, and if you guys don't know to, how to do that, check that video linked in the video description. Once you put the both of the screws. To put this bottom cover, bring it down in an offset position, just like this, with a little gap, and then you slide it back and it will go into its place. All right, now we're gonna power, if you power on, if you don't have anything, you just say there's no media or anything in there. And again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. If you don't know how to install Windows, watch the other video that I made, I'm about to make.